brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. So I am at a point where I am drowning in credit card debt. I have about $70,000 in credit card debt currently, and I can't really stop the bleeding. Um, it's all due to attorney fees. Um, you paid $75,000 so in, in attorney's fees? Um, also moving, um, I was in a situation where I was married, and um, my husband was an alcoholic and substance abuser, and um, I had to get out of that situation. Get so what did you spend to move? About, uh, I'm in Westchester, so it was about $9,000 to move between, like, broker fees. So you spent 60000 bucks on lawyer fees? Yes. For what? Uh, I've had to fight tooth and nail for my child. Um, it's been a very challenging court case. Um, at this point, he has um, the court has ruled he cannot have access uh, to my nine-year-old daughter. Um, but it's been it, it, contempt orders and violation uh, not on my part um, on his. And it's it also there's an attorney um, guardian ad litem as well. Um, so I'm paying both of the attorneys. It's just been a very harrowing, um, experience that we are thankfully going to come to the end of hope soon by the end of the year. Okay. So the bleeding is stopping then. And, uh, it, it will what a horrible thing you've been through. I'm so sorry. What, what do you make? What's your, <laughs> what's your you. income? Um, I make $90,000 a year. Um, and I'm in a very expensive area that I'm not legally allowed to leave. Um, I am currently working at a nonprofit organization and I can make more money. I have a doctorate in physical therapy, but I am tied to my job for the next two and a half years because I have extensive student loans totaling in the amount of $260,000 and I'm in public service loan forgiveness um, and I only pay for 14 a month. So after that, my loans will be forgiven. So I'm, plus they're very flexible. I have a daughter with special needs. So I'm really kind of stuck at that amount right now, making that $90,000. So the way it stands right now, I'm basically making, uh, barely making my bills at this point. And I do not receive any type of child support or anything like that. Um, and I, I'm just making the bare minimum on the credit card payments. And so I'm trying to figure out when this is all said and done and I can, you know, go in. I can't touch. Is there any right financial could, settlement that you're going to get from the divorce? <sighs> no, no, there's absolutely nothing. I'll be lucky if I get child support at this point. I'm not, I'm not going to bank on anything at this point. Okay. If you, if you could, I understand your, the limitations based on the loan forgiveness, but could you practice physical therapy today, just theoretically on paper with your current qualifications? The answer is yes, but I also have a daughter with special needs that requires a lot of my time. And if I had to pay for childcare, um, that, that would, plus finding a provider that would be able to provide that childcare. I'm kind of in, you know, a very difficult situation. So no, so no family support or friends in Westchester at all that could help out. No, no, my 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 family is from Florida. I don't have any family here. Okay. Um. So here's what's going to happen. Something's going to explode because you have painted a picture that says, um, I'm stuck in the corner and everything around me is wet paint and I can't move. And yet you're going to get your feet. You're going to get paint on your feet. Something's going to give. This is not sustainable. That's why you called us. So yes. I don't know what it is that's going to give, uh, but something's going to happen here and it's not going to be pretty. Uh, you're going to have another set of problems and anxiety ridden mess following this anxiety ridden mess of a divorce because you painted yourself into this corner of, I don't have any choices. I don't have any choices. You better make some because what you're telling me isn't sustainable and you know, it's not sustainable. So you need to yeah. get your lawyer. That's so dadgum expensive to go before the court and get you out of Westchester County. And you need to forget the stupid loan pro forgiveness. Cause you're probably not going to get it. And you need to go make about $200,000 a year and get your freaking life back or something. I don't know what it is, but something's got to change mm -hmm. 
because everything that we bring up, everything we talk to you and ask you about is a trap. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. That was the answer to every one of your questions. I don't have any choices. I don't have any choices. And yet the math is not working. So math will not give you a pass. Math does not believe in grace. Math does not believe in mercy. It's going to come for you. And it already is, and you're feeling it, and that's why you're calling. So I'm not trying to scare you, but uh, your process by all the stress you've been through and all the damage you've been through, it, it has made you believe that you are trapped and don't have choices, and I'm challenging that. You do have choices, and you better make some. You better change something here because you're not going to get help from him. I'm betting that the student loan forgiveness doesn't work because such a low percentage of those actually do go through. And you may have sacrificed a great income for a lousy income. Um, and I don't think you're trapped there. I think if you go before the judge and go, your honor, I don't make enough money to live in Westchester. I can't live here. Help me out here. Where can I go? What can you tell me what to do? And you go before the judge with that plead, and then you go, okay, now, how am I going to work with this special needs child and give them proper care and also be able to feed them mm -hmm. and house them? And, and so uh, you can't – the math that you've given me doesn't work, doesn't continue. It's Something's going to come up short, and it's going to choose you if you don't choose it. That's what I'm saying. So you're not stuck, but um, but you do have a very difficult situation – and, um, part of it is, um, you're, you're, my heart's breaking for you, honey, because my, I hear your language as, as if you have been abused in this relationship. So if you were in a domestic violence situation, one of the things the abuser convinces the, the person of is that they don't have any choices and that they're stuck. You can't leave. You can't afford to live without me. So you have to stay and let me be a, let, and be my punching bag. And so that's one of the lies they tell. And then you start to believe that lie yourself. Now you broke free of this guy, but your language of I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck is breaking my heart because it still sounds like he still owns you. And I want you free from him and free from this trap and free from all this. I wish I had a magic wand. I could just say that there's an instant thing here, but the one thing I will tell you is you got to make some different choices. Yeah. This is not, it's not working for you, hon. You know, I'm she, so sorry. She can find people that can help take care of the child, but she's the only one that can feed the child. And so for that reason, I would drive this home. I would be getting into physical therapy and making the most money possible. Yeah. That gives you more options. I, I'm, I'm stuck yeah. in a nonprofit making no money in a, the most expensive county in freaking New York area, except possibly Manhattan. Create your free every dollar budget today. The simplest way to budget for your life.